Science is the, the pursuit of truth. The search for truth is something that every human being, I think, has deep inside of them. We at BioBus think that all we have to do is, is give students the opportunity to pursue that desire that they already have inside of them. BioBus is a community of scientists and science enthusiasts, and we come together and people who really love what they're doing are just wanting to share that information. There's many ways to study science, and the one way that we really like to focus on studying science is using microscopes. That really opens up the floodgates of like what is possible. We focus on hands-on activities. It's much easier to learn what you're doing when you're actually doing it, as opposed to being told it. When I was in my lab at Columbia, um, I was doing research on a, a big confocal microscope using lasers to watch cells as they crawl around. I would invite people, kids, parents, into the lab uh, to see what I was doing. The reaction was pretty much universal, which is, this is amazing, and how can we do more of this? BioBus came from that experience of giving people the, the excitement of being in a research science lab. Having the opportunity to go into a full lab, actually see the microscopes, be able to work with them, picking up samples and exploring nature, connecting it with real life, it's a whole new experience for them. Most of the students that we work with are excited about science and interested in science, but don't have the opportunity to really practice science. At BioBus, we give students the opportunity to, to experiment, to ask questions, to work with scientists who can help them answer some of those questions using the microscopes and the other lab equipment that we have. Students react with amazement and excitement, and it even ignites the scientists themselves, because they're like, oh yeah, look at this, look at this, oh my god, yeah, that is cool. We're really in a, a golden age of science in, in a lot of ways in that more people than ever have the chance to go to grad school, study science, do research. Those same people are realizing that it needs to be even broader, that access to science needs to go even beyond what it is today. The scientific community is incredibly supportive of us and I think that's part of the understanding broadly in the scientific community that we have to do more, that we have a big role to play in, in broadening access to scientific education and tools.